in this video we have given that x power x power 6 is equal to square root of 2 power square root of 2 so we have given that x power x power 6 is equal to square root of 2 power square root of 2 so we have x power x power 6 and if we raise both side to the power 6 if we raise both side to the power 6 then we know that some number n power a whole power b is equal to n power a into b so we get x power x power 6 into 6 will be 6 times x power 6 is equal to root 2 power root 2 into 6 will be 6 root 2 and now we have x power 6 into x power 6 and we know that any number n power a into b is equal to n power a whole power b so we get x power 6 whole power x power 6 is equal to root 2 power here we have root 2 power 6 root 2 and it can be written as root 2 power 6 is equal to 3 into 2 so it is 3 into 2 root 2 and now it is root 2 power 3 power 2 root 2 so root 2 power 6 root 2 is a root 2 cube whole power 2 root 2 and uh, now we have x power 6 whole power x power 6 is equal to root 2 cube is 2 root 2 power 2 root 2 and uh, if we compare both side then we can get x power 6 is equal to 2 root 2 and it is x power 6 is equal to 2 root 2 is 2 power 3 by 2 and if we raise both side to the power 1 by 6 if we raise both side to the power 1 by 6 then we get x power 6 into 1 by 6 is equal to 2 power 3 by 2 into 1 by 6 and it is x power 6 into 1 by 6 will be 1 is equal to here 3 times 2 is 6 so we get 2 power 1 by 4 or we get x is equal to fourth root of 2 so it is the required value of x